Oh, thank you, straight on. Well, you know what? Our South African under-20 soccer team, they take to the field tonight, so it's the perfect day to wear all things green and yellow to show your support. Now, our resident sports guru, Graham, checks in with the Amajita squad. The national under-20 soccer team will be flying the South African flag very high for the next week as they take part in the Africa Cup of Nations Championships, of course, taking place in Zambia. Now, following their superb 3-1 win over Cameroon in their opening match, our boys next faced Senegal, the silver medalist from the last tournament. And tonight, ahead of that game, we have under-20 midfielder Grant Margeman on the line live from Zambia. Grant, how are you doing? I'm fine, you. Great, man. Great to connect with you guys. First of all, well done on a superb first win. I'd love to say you guys made it look easy. 3 ones not a bad scoreline, but I think you guys had to work for it. How's the team feeling after that first game? Um, so happy at the moment. As you know, we win early behind. But I think the guys showed good character and fighting But it was a tough match for us. As you see, the... Came out in place, they are big and physical, but I think we are smart to them. And I think winning that ma match gave us an extra boost going to the second match against Senegal tomorrow. And I think we will be in a good spot going to the second match. Um, I think having that challenge early in a tournament is also good to, to make sure that the team is gelling together at the moment and it really does look like the spirits is there apart from anything else. Now, I know that the coach has the, the luxury of being able to plan ahead. You guys are focusing from game to game, but obviously with a semi-final finish here, you can make it into that under-20 World Cup. What, what was the goal going into this tournament? What did Tabo set as a goal for you guys as a squad? The goal for us actually was to go out there and qualify for the under 20 World Cup that's taking place in May. But our main focus is now is to go and get into the knockout status because the World Cup that's not work. But the main goal is to qualify. But our second goal is also to win the tournament because that's important for us because winning a tournament takes us with a winning mentality into the World Cup. Um, and you certainly, it looks like you've got the balance in the team to be able to achieve that. But you've got another hurdle in the way in the form of our 2015 silver medalist, Senegal. How are we preparing for this game? What do you expect? You said uh, Cameroon, very physical, strong. What are you expecting out of the Senegal, or Senegalese rather, outfit? Well, as we're expecting a more difficult match, they are also a physical team. And they, I think they're going to come at us because they need a point more than we do. But for us, we all come to the party and tell them that we have to fight and we have to fight for the nation. But it's going to be a tough match. It won't be easy. But we'll find solutions. And I think the boys are up for it. We're all excited. And we know it's one match away from the knockout stages that will take us to the World Cup. So close, you can taste it. And I have to ask very quickly on a personal level, obviously you've started to make your mark um, down here in Cape Town for Ajax Cape Town. Two goals in nine matches. Having that first-class experience now, and we know that the Premier League at the moment is playing at an incredible standard. How much is that helping you? How much have you matured as a footballer at Ajax? I think being part of the first team helps me a lot now because when you're playing in the top league in Asia, it helps you mentally and physically yeah. because it's the same. It's almost like the same as playing in the storm because the guys are physical, they are clever. So playing in the PHL, it, it helped me a lot mentally because um, I'm understanding the game more and the eating situations more better. So being part of the first thing helps me and it also helps me being a better person. Well, it's certainly translating on the field. I know a lot of pressure on your shoulders in the midfield. You've got to marshal the forces. So, Grant, all the best of luck. We are really, really proud of you. But please send our best to the rest of the team. Now, go out there, get that qualification. But moreover, win this tournament, man. Thanks, man. All good. Uh, Grant will be in action tonight, of course, along with the rest of the South African under-20 side when they take on Senegal in Andola in Zambia. Kickoff for that match is at 6 o'clock.